Right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got an interesting video coming up. We're going to give you an owner's review of the Pegasus Grande SE Brindisi. So I've had this caravan now for a couple of months and this is our third trip out. Uh, we're now up in Scotland, so we'll give you a good look around both outside and in. I'll leave the inside at the moment, giving it a good tidy and a clean because she said, I don't want you walking inside with the camera while it's looking like a mess. So we'll have a wander around the outside first. So let's go and have a gander and we'll crack on with the video. So we're going to take a look at the Bailey Pegasus Grande SE Brindisi. This is the eight foot wide um, island bed, or transverse island bed, rear bathroom. So a quick look and we'll start at the front before taking you inside for Ali to have her little say on the inside. And of course this is our owner's review, we've had it a couple of months now. Absolutely adore this caravan, it has got its little niggles mind. But overall there's no deal breakers. It really has been a cracking choice we've made. So right, starting at the front we've got the Alco H-Head, 13 pin electrics and ATC as standard. Moving round to the near side, we've got gas barbecue point, a small hatch there, but that actually runs, because it's a G-shaped lounge, that actually runs all the way through and it's a larger hatch on the other side, so that runs under the seat. We've then got the door, stable door there, you've got pets, and the small fridge, that's where the first niggle comes in. Still don't know how we're going to be able to put a wheel arch cover on that without covering the vents. Uh, second little niggle, yes of course, it's the Bailey Inlet on the near side, yeah, something we're going to have to live with, and next to it is your outlet for your 230 volt socket, and then under the bed you've got the storage. Uh, one thing to mention, take a look when you're buying caravans because this is something we've we picked up over the years is where the straps and the and the caps and things meet the top is where the water's going to run off and on the Eldis the cap was where the, t where the extrusions joined was right over the door so that's where the water run off, right over the door this thankfully is to the side at the front so that's great stuff uh, we have got 100 watts of solar on top but there's also another little tap cap there, you can just see it protruding at the edge and yes that's right above that door. Needless to say when it's raining that's where the water runs when the caravan's level. Um, unfortunate but that's uh, one of those things you have to live with. Right, grey sides, absolutely love the graphics, love the colour. The 8 foot makes a massive difference. We'll just have a look at the back end. Uh, that's my second little niggle, no, no eye level brake light um, and the good old Bailey truck rear but it's not a deal breaker you don't often look at the back. Uh, moving around as a side and again the lovely graphics and toilet cassette and fill above. Would be nice on these caravans if they did actually put the fill for the toilet on the water system but that's one of them things things you do moving down the side waste outlet there just behind the wheel um, on the other side we have got just behind the wheel the actual underslung spare wheel which is a godsend with it being under the caravan rather than inside and of course with the bailey we've got the lpg storage bottle on the offside truma heating and whale inlet for water. Again the Bailey SE graphics and that basically takes you a look around the outside of the caravan. Things that really stand out of course that Bailey front window we love the level of tint that's on the glass it's, it's enough but not too much uh, so you still get plenty of light on the inside. The skylights, there are three, the front one being the largest, so loads of light flooding into the caravan. And 
of course with having the solar it just makes a little bit of difference when you're on storage you're keeping the battery topped up so I'll just take a little step away so you can get a good look at that from the outside and what we'll do is we'll take a little wonder inside and we'll walk you through what is an absolutely superb caravan see you in a bit All right, Al. Hiya. Welcome to my little home. Take my shoes off, eh? Yes. Would you like to come in? Might let you. Right, a quick review of the caravan, Al. Yep. Hang on, let me shut the door. Give a nice look out the window anyway while we're doing that. Oh, just show them that view out the window, darling. That's all right. Look at that view. <laughs> a view to die for. It is so gorgeous and peaceful. Right, I'll come all the way back. Right, here you go. This is the view of our caravan. Like you all know, we bought one on the spur of the moment. <laughs> but I think it's brilliant. So, you come in, you to the left, you have our G-shaped lounge, which is on and off like the l shape. But they call it G shape now, which is a posh name. You have a seat here <laughs> by itself and a nice little table, which is lovely to eat off. You haven't got to put a table up, really. It's, it's like a breakfast bar, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's there all the time and it's yeah. handy for a cup of coffee as well. Yeah, yeah. And what's it? This does make down in G next double bed. Yeah, and you can see there just below the. The seat there, that pulls out, table goes down, stacks away, and you can make a double yeah. bed out of that, which is really nice. And you've also got, just down there, on that G bit, a little plug socket down there as well. Yeah, yeah. plug socket down here. You've got all your main lights. There's three, but they only come with one. I think it was this right-hand corner that was the yeah. USB. They only come with one USB port. But we asked them to put another one in, so yeah. we have two for our phones. Yeah. You've got six cupboards around the top. Cupboards. Talk about cupboards. They're coming out with earlobes. Cupboards. We can't fill them, can we? No. There's, no. There's, there's more storage in here than... It's a family van, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Two of us can't fill it. No. We used to a two berth and we've gone for a four berth. Because, as you know, it's eight foot wide. We come for the width more than anything, so we had mm. more room. To be honest, Alan lies down that way and I lie that way with my glass of wine on the table, Your watching tablet. the TV on the night, or my tablet. Plenty of room for me and Alan. I'll just open this cupboard. I mean, just see the size of this thing, you know, it's just enormous. So we've got the TV in there, and we've got the, you know, the the aerial and all the rest of it. And it's just storage, it's just the TV. isn't it? There's just too much. Yeah, I mean, look at this one, for example, this cupboard. What have we got in this cupboard? Bread bones. <laughs> and nothing else. <laughs> That's it. This one is full of... All my plates and everything. I've got, I'll let you know now, I've got some magazines in front of the plate. That well, that was something, so wasn't it? We spoke about was out. that with the eldest, yeah. the plate rack was the opposite way yeah. around and they didn't fall out. No, this is facing Whereas yet. this is facing yet, so we use a magazine to Keep them in prop place. everything back in place. And of course, um, I think everybody does it in the old uh, B and M, the range, <laughs> bargain basement. Grab the sort we of storage. Pots, you know we need coffee pots. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, and of course we've got the two sockets down there, which we use for the coffee maker. I've got a USB in there to charge me uh, odds and tablet or something. And of course the Truma heating in this. Yeah. Now we have, we haven't actually noticed the difference, have we, between no. the Truma and the no. whale? No. The whale, the whale. I think personally was easier to operate. This is a little bit more but it keeps the van really warm yeah yeah so maybe this is a little bit more powerful because it's a much much bigger van than yeah. the eldest yeah so maybe we've yeah. got a, Definitely. a better system with this and as you come here 
is you know your sink you drain it this is quite nice the ring because you have this workspace so you've got more work surface if you're not using your rings and that lifts up and it clips yeah you don't need to clip it up out clips into there then the glass top comes up and you've still got the three burners and the gas yeah. plus under, under underneath you've got a separate grill and oven yeah which is absolutely but, perfect isn't it this is lovely for extra workspace <laughs> definitely we find this a treat yeah quite like the the splash back i don't think it needs to say pegasus grande on it it, it does, does it but it does but uh, hey there you go. such is life I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, cook, because you've not cooked anything on it yet. No, I don't cook. You cook, I wash up. I'm I, the pot washer. Well, I tell you what we have noticed with the last one, the, the microwave was above the cooker, and you had a problem reaching the microwave. Reach. I couldn't, never mind reaching it, I couldn't see in it. Now, because we've got the gas locker under, if you like, behind the sink, yeah. and... That's pushed forward, giving you extra space at the front, and the that pull that drawer because that's. Okay. So you've got like your cutlery drawer little, at the front. I only had a little drawer. This drawer, it's got all of my knives, my spoons, spatulas, well, everything I'll, you I'll, need for cooking. My knives, spoons, spatulas, <laughs> everything not, I need for cooking. Uh, the, but the thing is, if I, if Ali does on the odd occasion want to make a cup of coffee. Do you want to get a coffee pod out of the cook out of the cupboard, Al? I can reach them. Look, <laughs> I'm I'm on my tiptoes, but I can reach them. That extra workspace makes it. If you're a of the uh, shorter leg variety, that the, this extra little bit of worktop makes a lot of difference, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and this uh, this lovely big cupboard. Yeah. That. Again, he's just, it's all storage, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right, over to the other side. Oh, we've got the little pan oh, cupboard you've there. You've got another, another cupboard at the bottom there. Well, oh, that's my little pan and yeah. my dishcloth. Then over to the other side, you've got the fridge. It's only a standard fridge in this, but it's the same size we had in the eldest. And it does us, we can go away for a week, can't we, in this? Yeah. And not have a problem. And we're going to be cooking a full Sunday lunch tomorrow. Yeah. So it's not like we're not got we, we're not got oh. enough room. We can manage oh. for a week and we, then we go shopping. Do it. Yeah. 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 And uh, the TV. The top is absolutely perfect. That's a twenty four inch. Yeah. I, uh, I wouldn't want a bigger one. So it's just just about right, isn't yeah. it? And, and then the microwave, what we were on about. Oh, the bread bin. That's one thing I noticed. You know, people talk about these blue lights and being able to see them when you're in bed. The blue it lights. No, they're not a problem. The damn we, microwave we is it off. so it's actually been unplugged the because out. the clock's on all the time and it doesn't dim. So it's very bright. So whilst we've got a non-turntable, <laughs> lovely microwave, and I don't know, I've managed to keep fingerprints off that glass, but we have. <laughs> uh, so it's, it really is a nice bread bin. You want to open it? Right, it's got, it's, it's, it's it's got just, something in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but look, I can see it. It's, I can it's, it's a good height, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This and is one I was like, this and still couldn't see in it. We have a nice cupboard above as well. Yeah. And that's where the solar charge controller is. And the, pegs. the plug socket is up there for the microwave, you know, which isn't plugged in. So I, I glorify bripping. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the standard. You've got the... Um, smoke detector carbon monoxide detector there as as always uh, so I'm just thinking can we flick these lights on at the top yeah because they're quite we'll flick those on don't know if you'll see them too well today um, uh, let's just let's see if we can on. move the gimbal up a touch okay. yeah yeah so we've got the LED lighting at the top there and again at the, Above the cupboards, at the yeah. front and it, yeah it's LED isn't it yeah you know, and you get them under. You got the lights underneath as well, which are which are really quite oh, nice at night. That's uh, what we haven't mentioned. This window. The window has uh, the, with this. We had the different fly screens and things on the last one, didn't we? Yeah. Where everything came down, where mm. these are up. up and down. So fly yeah. screens come down and 
and blinds go up except for that front window where the fly screen goes up as well as so do you want to pull the fly screen up on that because that's a, that's a real bonus is that that you can actually open that massive window and you've got a fly screen to stop all the the bugs coming in and i think in summer because of these skylights that's that's going to be, that's going to be open We've, yeah, already, we've already had the side windows open. <laughs> yeah, because so it gets it's, too warm in here. Yeah. Right, Al, I'm going to turn the camera off a sec. Yeah. We're going to do a bit of jiggling around, swap places, yeah. and we'll start and look at the bedroom backwards. Yes. All right, happy? Bang, bang, me, yeah. Carry right, on. give us a tick. Bye. Right, we can just take a minute out from doing the video to thank our sponsors who are cover for caravans. If you're in the market for caravan insurance, please check out the link in the description below. But oh, by the way, we've got a fantastic number of new subscribers to the channel. So new and old, really do appreciate your support and thank you very much. Uh, I'm sure you'll uh, you'll enjoy the content that's coming. If you're not already, click on that notification bell and then you get notified of all the uploads that we do over the coming period all right thanks a lot we'll get back to the video see you in a bit right al we're facing the bedroom bit the and boudoir. Uh, the boudoir the right boudoir. for the benefit of everybody we have put the day back into day mode yeah. just because there's two of us wandering around it here there yeah. and everywhere right let's start on the right hand side what we got right we've got a wardrobe yeah nice hanging space in there yeah. not too not too small no we've got a cupboard underneath and we're, we're all cupboards aren't we in this yeah. uh no drawers, apart from the drawers with the utensils in. Yeah, everything's cupboards. Yeah, even in the bathroom. It's but it, but it's not a problem, is it? Because we oh, do, no, we're, we're, we're plastic box everything. Yeah, if you look. So yeah, plastic just went in, went in there drawers. and just just plastic box stuff. Oh, and, um, by the way, we have UB sockets. USB sockets on our bedroom lights. There but was one, asked, wasn't there? Yeah, was one, and we asked them to upgrade to change them both. To two. And then we've never used either of them. Oh, so we've upgraded not used. <laughs> right. Such is such is life. Right. Let me come come around this way. There's another cupboard here, which is just storage. Yeah. For our and you got a vent there for the yeah, heating as well. This is if you want a TV in the bedroom, which we don't, and at the moment... It's charging port for a Hoover. Yeah. Yeah, but you have got a TV and 12 volt there, so we can do everything. And then we've got knick-knack central. Knick -knack central, a nice shelf across there, and... Again, we've got the LED lights. Where's the light switch for that? See, we haven't put the oh, lights on in the bedroom. There we are. There you go. So you, got the, quite nice. you get the lights above the above both the units. Uh, Another wardrobe on the other side, and a cupboard underneath. I'll tell you what makes this bedroom. I think what makes it really a lot warmer is something That's... you get with the Alder heating is you get sort of these long, long radiators. And that just well, the bedroom. Well, this has like a grill over the pipe, so I'm sure that radiates some heat because it does seem yeah. to get warm like warm, and stay yeah. warm doesn't it yeah. Yeah. well when we had the bailey uh doo -doo -doo, what was it called we two birth, the little no the little baileys that we had at the start oh that was cold that caravan the back was always cold wasn't it yes, the bathroom yeah, yeah. where well, this isn't no Right, anyway, so there we are, and to digress somewhat. So, oh, and there we are, there's the ceiling. Let me try and move this gimbal down a bit again. So, as you can see, we've got another skylight in the bedroom. Right, are we going to move into the bathroom? Yes, come on, follow me, we'll go into the bathroom. It's, I opened the door, which is a sliding door, which is brilliant. <laughs> that holds back at the top, doesn't it, for yes, when you're travelling? Yes, catch there. Yeah, hold it back. Which is brilliant. Um. Can you come in? I'll try. As you first come in, you've got the toilet. So it's set for toilet, swivel yeah. toilet, normal normal sort of thing. And you've got the thing on top, button on top. You've got red, a lovely... Red light to tell you it's full. Yeah, you've got a lovely big cupboard. Again, everything's cupboards, isn't it? Big, yeah. big cupboards. Yeah. And storage shelves and... You've got shelves. And this has got... You can see we haven't used this much. Where's the light switch? Oh, it's behind you. It's a pull switch. Oh, yes. There you go. 
look at that isn't that lovely you've got you've got like this this mirror haven't you that just yeah. goes for there we are yeah. that's a bit better hello and we're there here there okay. we are so we get the full and it's the full width of the bathroom it's, yeah. it's enormous and it's a shelf and you've got your shelf there yeah you've got two shelves and a marble shelf yep move over to the sink. toilet roll thing and if i move over you've got a cupboard under the sink and your sink more shelves more shelves and then <laughs> look at that shower and that's it so it really is a full-size shower isn't it yeah you know i'm not going to take you in and all the rest of it but but there's there's as uh well you've had a shower in this yeah as yeah. wandering bird would say there's plenty of uh, room, room to flap your yeah. wings yeah so yeah it's just a absolutely fantastic space right let's have a a quick review and catch up for the whole caravan. Go and pat your bum down there, Al, at the front. Why not? Oh, in review. <laughs> so there you are. That's our Pegasus Grande SE Brindisi. That's your table uh, where I promised you. <laughs> and, and to be honest, it's probably one of the best decisions we've ever made, hasn't it? Considering That's we're going to be taking Jack with Jack us, with us yes. On, yes. on a fair I won't say it all the time but on a fairly regular yes. basis yes it's a grand man who's wanting to come with Nana and Alan so he's, he's wanting to get away from the others so we didn't buy it for Jack we bought it before our Jack decided this yeah. we bought this on a limb on a whim a whim then <laughs> we, we, we went out just to put a couple of hours in because we're on a campsite and we thought, oh, we're we'll going to have a look at the caravan showroom, see what they've got in. And there was a couple we looked at. And this one, we just kept going back to it and coming away and going back, weighing the <laughs> pros and cons up. And it, it was the width, really, to give us more space. Don't get it wrong, I love my little two berth. But it, it's better having more space. But I've still got the layout I want. And Seems that was it. It's a G shape lounge. It's, it's still like my L shape lounge, which I love. And, that, and that's, that's what sold it in the bathroom. So yeah, that you we've got we've got everything we originally specified, plus the bonus of having a full size bathroom. Yeah, because I give the bathroom up for the L shape lounge. lounge on the last one. And, but we also wanted the transverse island bed yeah. as well on the last yeah. one, and we've yeah. still got that here. Yeah, I'm pleased we've got it because of my back at the moment. Yeah, me and you having to make beds up on a night would be more. would be a big problem, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's not a hundred percent perfect from the outside point of view but nothing's actually a deal breaker there's nothing in here that, that like you not being able to reach the back of the cupboards that wouldn't be a deal breaker if you no. were by, if you were spending the money would it no but look at yesterday you asked me to pull the fly screen over and i said you i can't reach it's them like, skylight where i got it over well, literally just with a fingertip yeah so everything's everything's a balance and you've always got to make those compromises haven't you but um, i think yeah. we've I think we've, we've made it with yeah. this. Yeah. So if you are looking for a caravan and you're thinking there's just the two of you with maybe the occasional grandchildren, you don't want to opt down the route of a double axle. Oh, then, no. Then certainly the the Brindisi, it, yeah. it, if you want a double bed, or the Rimini, if you want two single beds, yeah. is is well worth a look, isn't it? Yes, definitely. So definitely. there we are, there we are, guys. That's the 2023 Pegasus Grande SE Brindisi from Bailey, uh, and that's our new caravan. You take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Ta -da. Ta -da.